So a decade and a day since Wales last won here in Rugby's Greatest Championship. Will that painful sequence be brought to an end? Or will England send Wales' defence of their crown crashing onto Cuthbert? Maratoji straight over the ball. Well, it was ambitious, Philippa, but it has rather backfired. Just the start that Marcus Smith would have been looking for. England three points up. We have been playing three minutes. Williams for a moment, just perhaps trying to exploit the gap one side there at Jack Knoll, but uh, thought better of it. There's the carry forward from Ross Moriarty, and Wales are penalised again. And off goes Harry Randall. Same angle, a little bit further out. Another attempt to dent holes there from England, and here comes another one! Well, I think Wells just about held that up. Mike Adamson was scrambling to get in the right position. There are a couple of Welshmen who are very slow back to their feet, Owen Watkin and Thomas Francis. Well, there you can see Williams. He's off his feet, yes. And it's more than that. He's been sent to the bin. Being met by Curry and one of his mates, Courtney Laws as well. And between them, Laws and Curry have helped deliver the penalty with Wales going off their feet. That's better from the Harlequin. Three out of four. England lead by nine points to nil. We've been playing half an hour. On to Itoji. The final seconds of the first half, but England do have the advantage. Marcus Smith, Don Brandt. Ross Moriarty had to make that tackle, and he did. Moriarty's got to get himself out of there. The referee awards the penalty. Well, the try lines remain virgin territory after 40 minutes. But it is the 80% strike rate off the kicking tee that is the difference between the sides. I just felt like we should have had a try from there, so it was good to see England throwing the ball around, just testing the edges. Oh, and it's gone straight to Dombrand! And Dombrand reaches out! And England have got the first try of the match. And Dombrand, look at the athleticism here. The long reach, and he gets there. On to Owen Watkin. Williams, long pass. Oh, that's quite superb. And Josh Adams, well, it's been a while, almost a year since he scored his last Test match try. But how timely might that be? Well, they've had their opportunities. The sixth time that Wales have had possession inside the England 22. A chance to pause, regroup, take a deep breath. It also gives a chance for the defence to reorganise itself. Elias that time. What a view that is out there for Williams. Tompkins! That's looking far more composed. They're relying on their carriers now. They're trusting their carriers to get them go forward. And I'm really loving the awareness from the Welsh outside backs, demanding for that ball out wide. They got caught in the first half with one too many carries. They're certainly making the most of the gaps out wide now. A crucial kick. And bigger slots in. And Wales are penalised, and you have to say the tackle from Ben Youngs is what set off that chain of events. Marcus Smith. To stop a bit of bleeding on the white England jersey. He's done it. George finds a sequel who loses it. It's Rollins who comes through. He had to take a second grab, but it's a penalty. There was a Welsh hand on an England arm. 
It's straight through the middle. They have conceded a few penalties in that uh, so-called red zone, if you like. Kieran Hardy's off and running. He senses a chance. And the scrum half gets over. He has the try. Wales will return over the seven bridge with something. So there is just a chink of light. There's a Toji, and the Toji's turn it over. And that could be the single moment that wins the match for England. The final twist, and appropriately, it is the new record holder, Ben Youngs, who fires it into touch. England's championship hopes remain alive. They have beaten Wales by 23 points to 19.